Today, I'm going to show you how to use a Pro Controller. Now, Pro Controllers are really good. Um, uh, wired ones are much, much cheaper than wireless ones. However, what if you're using your Switch in portable mode? And you're like, like, man, I can't play Fortnite. Like, the camera is too sensitive, especially on Doom 2. On Doom, it's really sensitive to the camera. You can't do much. Um, well, I, I think it only applies to Doom. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to uh, use a wired Pro Controller on your Switch. Now, everybody knows that um, it's a big, it was a big deal when, when, it, when it was released that it had a USB-C, which, um, as you know, it's, it's the first time Nintendo's done anything universal. However, it wasn't necessarily universal. Um, you had to use a specific type of USB-C, which is very odd. But, what you can use is you can use a USB Type-C. This, this is, I believe, it's m very popular with, like, Macs or uh, laptops that have, like, one USB-C port. Yes, they exist. There's There are literal laptops that have just one port, which is really stupid, but they, they actually do exist. They're probably just made by Apple. But there are a few uh, Windows ones that just have, like, a few USB-C ports. But this is a very good way how and how to do this. Uh, you have to uh, go ahead and buy a USB hub, um, preferably USB 3.0, but I, I went at a store in Mexico called Starin, very good store. If you're in Mexico, you're already lucky, but uh, it was, it, if Radio Shack still existed, this is basically the equivalent of it, but um, I'm pretty sure like Target or any just regular store, or maybe even Best Buy, they'll have a USB hub that uh, connects with USB-C, so you plug this in into your Nintendo Switch. Oops, I'm just going to plug this in right here. All right, you just do it until it clicks, and it's gonna be there and pretty firm. So don't worry about, it, especially on the on this controller. It's also really firm on the hub itself. Yeah, this is um, pretty cheap, but it's it's really high quality uh, from Mexico. Um, so just plug it into there, then you're going to see that um, all the buttons, if I'm mistaken, uh, when it's unplugged, there should be like, on, on everything, it should have like, you know, what button you're supposed to click, like L, B, or L, or R, and, and like X, it doesn't have it, because you basically connected the wired Pro Controller from the USB hub, and USB-C, like this, these are really cheap, uh, go ahead out and buy one. It's very cheap, very cheap. Four ones are actually cheaper than two uh, USB-C ports, which is really weird. That's what I saw in Mexico. With only two ports, that's actually more expensive than having four. But yeah, just plug it in and check this out. It works. This is very useful if you don't have a TV with you or you're going around a friend's house and you want to... And when Smash Ultimate comes out, you want to show your skills with the Pro Control, but you don't have the wireless version, which is very, very expensive. But much more comp expensive compared to the wired, which is really, really good. Anyways, hope you enjoy this video. Um, yeah. Also, let's go to home. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I didn't even go to home, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Just how to connect the wired Pro Controller to your Switch. Hope you enjoyed.